These are already among the worst fires in Spain's Catalonia region for 20 years. And the heat wave has only just begun. Firefighters are warning the burning area could get five times as big. They're doing what they can to douse the flames. But for these animals, it was too late. They died trapped inside their barn. It's clearly upsetting for the farmer. Distance provides safety, but it's an anxious wait to find out if houses have gone up in flames. In the afternoon when we came back, we saw black smoke here. And when we wanted to go back home, the road was cut off, so we couldn't. Our ranch is right there, and there was a lot of smoke. So we came here next to Fleish Castle to see where the fire was going and if our ranch was going to burn. Away from the flames, the heat is more nuisance than danger. In Madrid, a little cooler at 39 Celsius, people tried to stay hydrated, stay protected, or just took it easy. For some tourists from more northerly climes, it's what they came for. It's sticky, but yeah, I've brought lots of suntan cream, drinking lots of water, but it's perfect. It's very hot. It's very hot. Um, but we're enjoying it, I'm trying to get a suntan. <laughs> For vulnerable people, the heat can still be dangerous. In France, the health ministry has issued a heat wave plan for elderly care homes. They don't want a repeat of 2003's hot weather when 15,000 mostly old people died. I put a small wet cloth around my neck and there isn't much more I can do. I don't move around. But at our age, we don't move too much. We just have to wait for it to be over. There is no other solution. But forecasters suggest it won't get cooler till early next week. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera.